We interrupt our program to bring you a special broadcast. Boom! Oh, headshot! Hey, it's Clay. How's everybody doing? I got another gameplay for you today, and this time I'm just going to dive right into it. I, uh, you know, as we're moving into fall, it's that time of year again. Uh, not only is it time for football and pumpkins and all that jazz, but it's time for the next crop of games. The next crop, the next installment of, you know, the Call of Duty franchise. Um, EA is coming out with a new game, uh, in Medal of Honor Warfighter. And, you know, it's just, it's that time of year when we start looking forward to these new games. And I've, I've, with the Medal of Honor Warfighter beta, that's kind of what has really catalyst this uh, thought in my mind, this little mini rant that I have, if you want to call it that. But I've been thinking about, you know, so like something like Medal of Honor Warfighter. This is, I mean, it's kind of like trying to break into like the political system as an independent. And you've got like the Democrats and the Republicans, you know, these big two f gigantic franchises in Call of Duty and Battlefield. Now trying to break into that is going to be really tough. And... You know, in some ways, Medal of Honor is... I look at them as trying to uh, perfect the wheel. If that makes sense. Let me, and if it doesn't, let me explain. You know, we're, we're talking about modern, fast-paced military shooters. I mean, that's kind of the general overarching thing. And definitely, Call of Duty and Battlefield do things differently. There are some big differences. But it's still kind of all within the same genre. It's all still within the same overarching... Uh, theme of video game. You know, this is bringing lineage from Counter-Strike. Um, you know, maybe not so much Halo, but, you know, it definitely some of those other games. And then Call of Duty has kind of grown into the giant, the juggernaut of these modern military shooters. And, you know, each of them kind of add their own tweak to it. Uh, Battlefield definitely focuses a little bit more on teamwork. The maps are definitely very different in Battlefield. Uh, but as a whole, if you just kind of look at the way that the game plays, uh, it's it's similar. And Medal of Honor is definitely fitting within that mold. It's definitely going for the fast-paced, modern military shooter, just with kind of to put its own personality and its own flavor on it. Uh, but it's definitely uh, not reinventing the wheel. It's just kind of shaping the wheel a little bit differently for its own purpose. And, you know, to be completely honest, I played a little bit of the Medal of Honor Warfighter beta, maybe um, less than five hours, so not enough to really give a full-on review or, you know, first impressions or anything like that. I'm not going to do that because I don't think it would be worth anyone's time. But I kind of want to poke and prod at why I'm not getting that excited about it. Why am I not feeling, ooh, this is going to be awesome. I'm really, you know, looking forward to this title. And I think when it comes down to it, this market is really saturated. And I don't think that what I'm looking for is for somebody to do Call of Duty better, if that makes sense, or somebody to do Battlefield 3 better. You know, to take that full core, fundamental, fast-paced, modern military shooter, um, but just kind of like tweak it so it kind of puts its own personal spin on it. I don't think that's what I'm looking for. I don't necessarily even think that, you know, think about a game like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I bought the game on Xbox 360 and quit playing after maybe a month because I thought the game sucked. I don't even know if I could really explicate the reasons why I didn't like it, but I just thought it was bad. I didn't really care for the game. It was a little bit arcadey, a little bit too... I just said I wouldn't ex explicate the reasons, but then you get a couple of them. But the point is that I didn't really care for it. I've, now, on Battlefield 3, I've sunk a ton of time into that game, and I've really enjoyed it overall. Uh, it was a great purchase. Love that game. But now, moving forward, what do I want? What, 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 what is next? What comes next? And I think that, honestly, I'm looking for somebody to do something different. I'm looking for somebody to do something new. Um, you know, first-person shooters are always going to have a core theme. They're always going to, you know, revolve around kind of that fast-paced action, you know, where you're definitely, you know, it's, it's, it's twitchy, it's hectic, um, there's a lot of skill involved, but you know, at the same time, I want somebody to do something new, something different, I want there to be some evolution, I want somebody to reinvent the wheel, make a triangle, make a square, make an octagon, but something that is different, and personally, I just don't think that for Medal of Honor Warfighter to enter the market now and to try to kind of 
make it a three-headed monster. I just, I don't see it. I don't see it working out. I don't see it happening. Um, you know, people, I just feel like at some point, people are going to get sick of it, and they're going to want something new and different. One of the things I think about, modern, one of the reasons why Modern Warfare 3 tanked, in my opinion, is because it's the same thing. It's the same recipe, just with very slight tweaks. It's, you know, you've, you've, you people initially called it Modern Warfare 2.5, or they call it the Modern Warfare 2 expansion pack. Um, it was very, very similar. It just kind of tweaked or, you know, it perfected some things. It removed the noob tubes and the one-man army and all that cheese, but it was still very, very similar to the previous Call of Duty products. It was very much a polish and not so much a new quote-unquote game. It was a polish of a previous game. And in my mind, I think that that is just getting overdone. It's getting overused. The market is oversaturated. There are too many games that are trying to do that to the point where I want something new. I mean, and, and it's out there. There is a possibility for new. I mean, break the mold. I mean, if you think about Call of Duty and Battlefield, you are um, a human being, and you've got guns, and you move like a human. You're, you know, in a more modern, military-styled, themed area. Um, but look at something like Planet Side. It's going a little bit more alien, more space. Um, look at something like Hawken, which is going mech. You've got other games that are trying to do something differently. They, it's still a first-person shooter. You still have you know, your gun, you still have your mouse and your keyboard or your console sticks if you're an idiot. No, I'm just joking. Just kidding. Everyone is, should be loved. But really, mouse and keyboard is better. But you've got those same fundamental elements, but you bring in something new, something different to spice things up. I mean, what if you took Halo, and I know Halo 4 is kind of moving in this direction, but, like, let's talk about Halo 4 for a second. They're kind of combining the pure, the, the distilled purity of Halo you know, where it's um, it's very much skill-based, very twitchy, very uh, fast-paced. You know, you've got grenade, melee, gun, headshots, all that jazz. And they're they're adding kind of the uh, the progression, almost the RPG elements of Call of Duty, where you're, there's a lot of personalization, there's some customization, where you're you're kind of breaking out of that. You know, where everyone has the same elements to kill the other player. Well, if I want to be more stealthy, I have these options or attachments or perks or whatever. Or if I want to be more brute force and tanky, or if I want to be more speedy, if I want to be more focused on gadgets. I mean, allowing for more customization has definitely shown to be popular. So what if you kind of continue to, to formulate that idea in a different direction? Let's take something um, something like StarCraft, something that is a real-time strategy game where it's you're focused on, you know, something like build orders and counters, those types of things where, um, you know, you need to scout, you need to see what your opponent has and try to come up with, you know, more economy and at the same time countering his unit composition. What if you introduce that mechanism into a first-person shooter style game? I mean, I'm just totally making this up off the top of my head, but how sweet would that be if, you know, maybe you start off your game with a pistol. You start off your, your uh, uh, Call of Duty themed game with a pistol. And then, based on your kills or your capping points, you unlock uh, money that you can spend on, maybe if you want to go high damage. You get an LMG, got a lot of bullets, a lot of damage. Or maybe you want to go, and you kind of bring in that StarCraft element where, well, if he goes high damage, he's not going to be very mobile. So then I'm going to go with more of a harassment style, and I'm going to be really fast and speedy. And you have all these different, you know... It's very much uh, de developed on strategy. It's developed on scouting, knowing what your opponent is doing and trying to do something that will directly counter it, rock, paper, scissors style. I mean, that would create a really dynamic experience. And that I just came up with that off the top of my head. It's just one idea. But continuing to do something different. The theme there is that you are doing something different. You're not just trying to perfect something that already exists. You're not trying to polish something you've already done. But you're trying to move forward and discover things in people that they don't even know yet that they love. I mean, there are things about Call of Duty that I love. I had a great time in Call of Duty Black Ops. Uh, World at War is a favorite. Didn't really care for Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3, but Call of Duty, Call of Duty 4 is a perennial favorite. There are things about that game that are awesome. It was fast-paced. 
It was, uh, there's a lot of action, really interesting RPG-ish elements where there's an unlock system. Uh, all of those things came together to make a really cool game. And you know what? If you look at that, in some ways, like I said, it brought together RPG-ish elements into a first-person shooter because previous games like Halo, you didn't have those type of things. You didn't have the customization, the personalization, the unlock trees, that sort of jazz. Well, why don't we... I What I want to see is something like that. I want to see something doing it next. You know, I've already put X number of hours into that old theme, that old system. It doesn't... I, I am not drawn to a game where the developer is thinking, okay, let's look at this old formula and try to perfect it. That does not interest me. What interests me is thinking, oh my gosh, I never thought that that might be possible. That sounds like fun. I want to learn that. I want to be good at that. That's exciting to me. And that's the direction that I want to see these first-person shooters go. So, in terms of Medal of Honor... Warfighter, Black Ops 2, even, you know, Battlefield 4. I just don't know how much longer I can continue to invest time and energy into something that is just a polish of a previous game mechanic. And what I want is something that is not necessarily innovative in the way that it does something that is completely new and different where you, like, you, I don't I can't even think about it. Maybe you're, you're going into, like, flying first-person shooter. But I don't know. Take elements of first-person shooters and then introduce new elements that have yet to be implored or discovered. Um, I think that could be a lot of fun. But I'm going to wrap it up here. I would really love to hear some comments from you guys about what you think about this uh, tension between you know polishing an old game mechanic versus um, going for something a little bit more innovative. Uh, so definitely let me know. I would love to hear from you guys, and I will see you soon.